Mystery, Sergeant. Mm. Yes, Mary. Yes, I'm tired. But a good day regardless. Hmm. Well, that remains to be seen. I see. Drinks first. So you're starting a little one early. <laughs> well, these days you've got to prepare them for the real world. There's barely any whiskey in this, though. Well, Mary, if you're going to desecrate it that much, you may as well stick to water. I'll get another. I'll get it. I'll get it myself, Mary. I'm tired to go out tonight. I can fix you dinner. There's plenty of food in the house. Anyway, I'll make you something. Something hearty after a good day's work. I bought some lamb from the butcher you like so much. Forget about it, Mary. I'm not hungry. Oh, but you must eat something. It won't take long. Sit down, Mary. Just sit down for a minute, would you? Listen, there's something I need to tell you. What's the matter? I 
understand that this may come as quite a shock to you. But I feel it's better to address it now than to let it fester. You see, there's this woman at work. sure you have all the money you need and that you're provided for, the both of you. Mary. Mary, look, there really needn't be any fuss. And besides, it wouldn't be good for my job. Uh, I'll make dinner. I told you already, Mary, I'm not hungry. Look, I'm going out.
wife. Yes, sir. it's all very good. Um, I'll have two cakes today, please. Um, could she dispatch me to the police department? Bundleshire. <laughs> I just, uh, there's been an accident. I came home and my husband is on the floor. I, I don't know what to do. Um, he's just lying there. Um, it's Patrick. Uh, Detective, Detective Maloney. It's been smashed in like a pumpkin. Do you have any idea what happened? gathered all the evidence we could for the moment. It seems that Patrick was killed by a blow to the back of the head. But we haven't been able to locate the murder weapon. Now, the killer could have taken it with him, thrown it away, hidden it. Either way, we can't find it. 
Now, I know it's been a very tough day, but is there anything in the house that could be used as a weapon? Anything at all? It's a classic story. You get the murder weapon, and you've got the murderer. I, I really don't know. Maybe you could look around the house, yes. see if something's missing? Yes, I can do that. Please, in the meanwhile, help yourselves to some drinks. You must be very tired as well. Well, it's not strictly allowed on duty, but since you're a friend. I'm sure you won't mind. I can't imagine what you must be going through. But if it's any consolation, all three of us knew Patrick quite well. He was a good policeman. And it's such a shame to leave as fine a lady as yourself on her own with a child in the way. Now, uh, did you uh, mention anything unusual lately? Anything out of the ordinary? Um, no, well, he seemed very tired, but then again he often is after work. He usually drink when he comes home? Yes, but not excessively. Just a drink or two? With tonic usually, yes, yeah, is that right? Um, y yes. See, that's quite curious, because when we analyse the contents of his glass, it turned out he's a bit straight. Now, do you have any idea why tonight, out of all night, he would have deviated from his habits? You speak as if you were the culprit, as if he brought this upon himself. But he did, didn't he? He was an upstanding citizen, a model policeman, who put away a host of thugs in his time. Any one of them could have done this in retribution. Have you looked at them? And how was he the husband? <clears throat> Gather? Come on, we've got work to do. Yes, yes, quite right. Thank you for your time, Mr. Levin. Gentlemen! Would you do me a favour? Here you all are, colleagues of Patrick's, and you're helping to catch the man who murdered him. You must all be very hungry by now because it's long past supper time, and I know that Patrick would never forgive me if I let you go hungry in our house. Why don't you have the lamb in the kitchen? No, thank you. We don't want to be of any more inconvenience to you than is necessary. Oh no, please. I couldn't eat a thing at the moment. But it'd be a great favour to me if you did. Then you can get on with your work. Well, um, if you insist, Mrs. Maloney, we would be more than happy to oblige. We can take it from here, and you can go ahead and rest now. Thank you for the supper, Miss Maloney. I truly hope we can continue this conversation at a later date. Good 
have her in. We'd love to have her out. Told you it'd be a long day. Have the time. We're not meeting a big ghost. No. What a shirt to do. I said you said all day, right? This alarm is amazing. Oh, you must have some more. Mm. Well, you better not finish it. Well, why not? Ah, uh, she says she says you wanted to. She said, didn't she? Mm. You know, whatever killed poor Patrick must have been something big. That's why I say it ought to be easy to find. Exactly what I say. Whoever did it, they can't carry a weapon that big around with them. Mm. I'd wager in somewhere near the house. It's probably right under our noses. We just have to keep our eyes open. <laughs>